All right. Okay, aloha everyone. My name is Lucia and I am here this morning to see all your beautiful faces <laughs> and uh, the ones on the phone to hear our, uh, your voice. And um, I'm here also to introduce my amazing friend, very dear to my heart, my amazing <laughs> leader. <Yeah>. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm so blessed that I'm actually um, with my leader right, right in the same uh, place where I live. So that's very, very special. And uh, uh, I've been learning so much from her and she's always my inspiration. And uh, that's so fantastic if you have anybody on your team every day who's going to inspire you and she inspired me she's pushing my limits every day because if i see her every day or every other day she always come up with new information with new resource and that's why you know it pushes me more and more and i'm so happy to be here today and um uh, please this is rebecca right here i love her so much and uh, she has amazing heart and now her brain is getting <laughs> more and more uh, full of incredible information. So just enjoy. Uh, I love you all and have a fantastic time today. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Lucy. And I know she's got to jump and, and go off to work. But um, yeah, it's really fun doing this with friends. And I think that's one of the greatest things here in our little community. And thanks, everyone, for jumping on today. Um, <clears throat> it is going to be uh, a lot of info information and I'm actually going to be reading quite a bit and what we're going to be talking about today is <clears throat> excuse me us as us humans as we are living in the world that we live today and you know as we know we have this incredible human body this human body that is uh we can do all kinds of stuff we can push it to certain limits um the things that we can do with our body are amazing. And then when we're, when we're in the right environment and given the right, the right combination of things like the right nutrients, it's amazing what the body can do. But sadly enough in the world that we're living today is very, very toxic. As we can see, you know, we have 7.5 billion people and growing in the world. And, you know, since the industrial revolution came about, <clears throat> industry has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And, you know, to solve starvation problems in Africa and things like that. Agriculture has sort of just blown out of control and to feed, to feed animals and things like that. So we've seen an increase of population and the increase of industry and increase of agriculture. And what this has forced on the planet, as we can see, is a lot of, a lot of waste and a lot of toxins and a lot of chemicals. And it's caused a lot of destruction on the planet and, and um, our planet is resilient and strong, but at the same time, it's very sensitive as well as the human body is resilient and strong, but very sensitive. And, you know, the planet's a living organism, <clears throat> excuse me. And as we are, and it soaks everything up and we soak everything up too. So how do we fit into this, into this kind of toxic world that we're living in? What are the best things that we can do? And why are we seeing an increase of, you know, autoimmune as we see? Um, we're seeing more and more diseases rise. And <clears throat> we know food is a huge factor and a lot of food is laden with chemicals. Now that we're seeing agriculture monocrops and we're learning a lot about glyphosate. But another thing that we're seeing a lot too is, um, and we know this for over many, many years, is plastics and phthalates. So I'm going to talk about, you know, what's inside us today, the invisibles that are inside us and what is happening inside us and the different things, <clears throat> excuse me, that we can hear in people's connect calls for cues that's going on for them. Um, with fatigue and depression and it's all linked all the chemical exposure is linked and what it's doing to the endocrine system and um, how it's wreaking havoc so I am going to be reading a little bit here you guys so if you see my eyes moving and I'm not actually looking at you and you're going to hear me scrolling a little bit just excuse me and um, I'm gonna it's something a summary that I've been writing for a book but I've translated over a little bit for today so we can <coughs> excuse me um incorporate some of the products and the different ingredients in a superfoods that can help support with our body in this toxic world today so see if i can do this here make a little space 
It's the first time I've been reading on a Zoom. I can move you guys over here a little bit. Bear with me. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> if you have a pen and paper, feel free to write some stuff down. Um, otherwise, we'll put this on YouTube and we can we can share this out with our team later on. So, um, of course, all we, we all know that we need air to breathe, water to drink, food to eat, and shelter from the elements. And 85% of the oxygen we breathe is produced by the marine plants. 97% um, of our Earth's water supply is contained in the ocean, and 30% of CO2, CO2 emissions produced by humans are absorbed by the ocean. So as you know, with this growing, growing, growing population and with industry and agriculture, the demands of feeding us and um, the convenient lifestyle that we're living, a single use plastic lifestyle, unfortunately, is um, putting a huge impact on the ocean. And um, we're seeing about 300 million tonnes of plastic every year and half of which is for single use and more than 8 million of that is getting dumped into the ocean. And sadly, you know, knowing that um, the Earth's ocean comes from, the Earth's oxygen comes from tiny, tiny ocean plants we call the phytoplankton and they live near the water's surface and they drift with the currents. So... You know, and scientists agree that there's oxygen from ocean plants in every breath we take. So the chemicals that we're receiving and stuff through the food, we're also breathing this, we're also breathing chemicals back in through the air, you guys. And we're also breathing it in through um, everyday life with different things in our house and in our car. So what we're seeing is not just coming in through the food, but we're also seeing it in um coming in through our bodies. And that's why what we have here with Purium and the superfoods are actually phenomenal to support detoxing this stuff out of our system and to support the repair of lungs, um, our kidneys and liver, the liver that's doing all the detoxifying. So scientists say that phytoplankton contributes to 50 to 85% of the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. And what's happening is when this plastic debris in the seawater is moving around, it absorbs pollutants like PCBs, DDT and PAH, and these chemicals are really, really toxic and they, rain, they do a wide range of chronic effects, especially on the endocrine disruption, um, on birth defects, immune system suppression and developmental problems in children, and it causes cancer, as we know that. So what is happening when we're breathing these in, we're touching, like, plastic, there's a lot of plastics around, we're touching chemicals that are emitting. Um, what happens is when they enter our body. So the process of detoxification and elimination, toxins come in through, I'm going to be looking back and forth to you guys, through our lungs, through our skin, through our gut and our intestines. That's why we're seeing a rise of, you know, gut health issues with the food because this is where we, this is where we um, process um, where the process of detoxification and elimination happens. And then our primary organ um, for detoxification is the liver. So toxins enter through our skin, exit through our skin, our kidneys, our colon, and our lungs. And then when we have an excess of toxins, like fat-soluble toxins like pesticides, hormones, heavy metals, they tend to have an affinity to store in the fat cells. So that's why detoxing so when we someone's really trying to lose weight that's why detoxing all these chemicals and stuff out of our body and then the system or the the body can finally catch up because it's moving stuff out of the tissue out of the fat cells and then out of the bone marrow the liver the central nervous system and the brain so that's why we get foggy brain when we're like constantly exposed to all these chemicals that are all around us and then water-soluble toxins store in our joints, our blood, our muscle, and our tissue. And again, this is why we see a rise of pain, inflammation, um, again, stagnation because it's in the blood. And then um, you can get like restless, restless leg syndrome and things like that that can come up. So <laughs> plastics, ugh. <laughs> But plastics are everywhere and the way they're made is the sort of same chemical compound that is the same thing that's in pesticides as well. So this is a really big topic, this chemical topic. 
and they're flexible and durable and they come in from the skin through water, through PVC pipes, through detergents, pesticides, foods. We can inhale them in airborne adhesive glues, building materials, school supplies and school buildings. Um, other ways that we can bring them into the body um, are through our car furnishings, um, solvents, insect repellents, as we all know, vinyl flooring, carpet tiles, adhesive toys and dyes. So it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Even my son plays with Lego and I'm like, well, he loves Lego. With, with plastic, it's a harder plastic. It's not, it doesn't soak up as much, but it's still, it's everywhere. And we have really nice floors, but they're not real wood. So unfortunately, we're totally exposed to these chemicals. So what is happening when they are coming into the body? So they are major endocrine disruptors. And this is why we're seeing more and more people fatigued, more and more people coming up with cancer because we're constantly exposed to chemicals. And if we're on the teeter-totter, so say we're like, say we have like the, the um, like we're on a, on a teeter-totter, so we want balance in life. So if we're too far on, on the chemical, chemical side of the teeter-totter and not far enough on the, the healthy side, then we're having a constant accumulation of chemicals, 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 and we're have putting nothing in good that's blocking and detoxing daily. So we, we need that daily detox and that daily blocking and moving of these chemicals out. So endocrine disruptors can alter metabolic function in the body. And phthalates and parabens act as estrogen pathways. So in humans, this has been associated with decreased sperm count, endometriosis, and insulin resistance. And what happens with these endocrine disruptors, they play all these tricks on the body. So they increase certain hormones, they decrease the production of other imitating hormones, they turn one hormone into another, they interfere with hormones, they um, tell cells to die permanently, um, they compete with essential nutrients, they bind to essential hormones um, and accumulating in organs that produce hormones. And so the endocrine system is the collection of glands. Let's see if I can do a little screen share here with you guys. It's a collection of glands of organisms that secrete hormones directly into the circulatory system. And this is to be carried towards distant organs. The major endocrine glands, including the penile gland, the pituitary gland, the pancreas, the ovaries, the testes, the thyroids, so you see an increase of hyperthyroidism in, in the world now, parathyroid gland, hypothalamus, gastrointestinal tract, and the adrenal glands. So I'm going to show you guys just a little, um, see if I can screen share here. I'm going to screen share. Beck, was that last list, is, are you still on plastics, that that is what plastics do? This is plastics everywhere. And because it's petroleum-based, so nearly everything around us is petroleum based right so plastics are everywhere so it's it's in everything so it's it's in the air we breathe because it's in the ocean everything we touch like my mouse it's it absorbs through the skin so i'm going to see if i can um find this for you guys a little screen share here um excuse me for a second desktop maybe i can go here okay Hopefully don't have any pictures of my husband. I know I'm only joking. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> All right. So see if I can find a little 101 um, of our endocrine system here and give you guys a little bit of a, a rundown. My computer's, please move this away from the shed. Can you guys see that? Someone can unmute just or a thumbs up. Can you guys see that? It's really small. Um, can you enlarge in it? It's loading, uh, it's loading it up still. It's spinning. Oh, it's spinning. Okay. While it's spinning, I'll just ex I'm going to explain a little bit. Okay, how the systems of work, how the endocrine system work, what's in there, and why we're seeing like um, disruption of the hormones. Why people when we're on these connect calls, people are, like feeling the way they are and because of the way we're exposed to chemicals. So <clears throat> just bear with me and I'm going to go over this really quickly and then we'll come back to 
what we can use, what products we can use to like detox chemicals and then support the hormones and bring them back in balance. So um, the, penal, the penal gland, um, it secretes melatonin, okay, which affects the reproductive function and helps establish the circadian day and night rhythms. So that's why we're seeing when we're seeing like, of course, when we're seeing um, an increase of cortisol levels with anxiety with people, we're seeing this decrease of melatonin. So it's really affecting the penile gland. And that what can happen there is it can suppress the serotonin in people. So that suppresses like our happy, our happy hormones. So we're seeing an increase of depression. So the parathyroid glands secrete a hormone important to the regulation of calcium ion concentrate in the body. Um, we'll move over to the hypothalamus. It secretes hormones involved with fluid balance, smooth muscle contraction, and the control of hormone secretion by the anterior pituitary gland. The thyroid, which we all know is very, very important, it is all very important, um, secretes hormone affect metabolic rate and calcium levels in body fluids. And what we're seeing now, we're seeing a rise of um, hypothyroidism. And what can happen with exposures to chemicals, and they mimic they mimic um, the way hormones and stuff work in the body. And we're seeing a decrease in um, our sperm count and women being able to make babies because of anxiety levels are high. So when cortisol levels are high, um, it affects like the thyroid. So increasing things like, um, so the thyroid thrives on minerals. That's why the power shake and everything is so amazing. Ionic elements are a really incredible for the thyroid and making the thyroid sort of feel safe again. So increasing the minerals, and I'll talk a little bit about what minerals the thyroid likes and where we can get them from and what products. Um, our adrenal glands are part of the endocrine system. So they secrete hormones involved in mineral balance, metabolic control, resistance to stress. As we know, we get really exhausted. Like if we're stressed, like we just, we can't pull ourselves out. Um, the adrenal, um, that helps with, uh, during sympathetic activation. So the, uh, the modality releases E and NE during sympathetic activation. So different ways that we can support the adrenal glands, again, coming back to sleep. Um, when you hear someone on a connect call and they're talking about uh, their adrenal fatigue, number one thing, we kind of want to find out what's happening with their sleep again. So again, as we know, we have this incredible tart cherry with incorporated with relax caps or um, um, the aloe, which can really, really set someone up for a great next day and support the adrenal glands to relax. Bee pollen, so we have bee energetic. And also to the white American ginseng has been really, really good for um, anxiety and surprisingly enough, and um, can support the adrenals that way in a different sort of way. The pancreas, so we're seeing high levels of pancreatic cancer now. So it secretes hormones regulating the rate of glucose uptake and utilization by tissue. Um, I'm going to shift over here, guys, and go back. So I'm going to stop the share and just sort of drop, drop a little one or two if you guys are understanding if it's, it's not too, too deep. But we're going to record it so we can share this and it's going to link up to when you can hear people on a connect call and the ways we can lead into different products. So cool. Awesome. Thanks, Mario. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Okay, back to my writing here. All right. So, the endocrine disruption. So, chemicals and exposure creates this endocrine disruption. And we're seeing so many chemicals in, in our foods, right? So, we're seeing that come in through the gut, the way we're absorbing it. And, of course, that effect goes up through the vagus nerve and up through the enteric nervous system, up into the brain. And we're seeing all this brain fog. Okay. So... The ways that plastics and other chemicals damage our bodies, they damage the chemistry of fatty acids. And, um, you know, this is fundamental chemistry necessary for making every single cell lining or membrane. So fatty acids are the foundation for brain health, including memory and recall. So um, spirulina has a lot of these essential fatty acids. Um, Rice bran solubles are the love shake is really, really amazing um, for things like that. Um, plastics and these other vapors and phthalates can create zinc deficiency. So this is why we're seeing a little bit more of the thyroid 
hypothyroidism come up because of chemical storing in the body. Um, and this will compromise the metabolism of vitamin A and B6, and in turn can lead to conditions such as indigestion, depression, heart disease, cancer disease, and accelerated aging. So zinc, we have high levels of zinc in the power shake. Um, sorry. Um, no, not in the power shake. I was thinking of iodine, sorry. But we have zinc in the power shake, which is something that we can incorporate in. And um, I've seen it somewhere else recently, but we'll pull that up. Okay. And then just a quick side note. Um, so low zinc and um, low zinc and the low fatty acids can lead to like chronic inflammation. So when we can increase the zinc and increase like uh, bringing the fatty acid, essential fatty acids into our body, that can also help with inflammation. And uh, medical literature has clearly identified chronic inflammation as one of the most common underlying um, pathologies of most diseases leading to autoimmune rheumatoid arthritis, MS, um, cancer and heart disease. So if we can get, of course, more and more of these superfoods into people's bodies, it's going to be amazing. Plastics, phthalates, and they damage, they actually damage the hormone function. So, and especially thyroid and testosterone. So as again, we're seeing a decrease in sperm count and we're seeing a rise in like hyperthyroidism <clears throat> and they can also cause high cholesterol. So at the same time, they can keep cholesterol from forming happy hormones, the neurotransmission in the brain. So serotonin is also, this 80% of serotonin is in the gut. So again, as you can see, the food that we're bringing in and the chemical exposure we're, we're bringing in, what it's doing and how it's like more and more people are not feeling well, more and more people are not feeling happy and there's a rise of anxiety and it's all compromised by our system. Um, and let's see, so 80% of hyperthyroid conditions in the US are thought to be autoimmune conditions. And the way the body works is through like a series of like feedback loops. And one of the major chemical sensory regions in our body is the hypothalamus of the brain. And this region is constantly monitoring like um, the bloodstream for the presence of adequate thyroid hormone, among other things. So um, hypothalamus sends chemical signals to the pituitary gland in response to um, the pituitary gland sending out various amounts of thyroid stimulating hormone. So with mineral deficiencies, again, we're seeing this, um, the thyroid being impacted. So ionic elements are really good. Um, increasing power shake. So bringing people from, just gonna minimize this here so I can see you guys, bringing people from one power shake on a core three a day to two. So really increasing the mineral count in people's body, even though we think we're getting a lot of minerals, the way that we're introducing this plant-based form is, is beautiful. The body's going to take on as much as it can. And with cortisol levels rising, we're, we're just, we can, we can deplete the minerals. So really increasing even three power shakes a day. If people are on high levels of anxiety and they're running on a core three, just get them on three power shakes a day and adding ionic elements to everything. So they can put 20 drops in every in each shake. They can do it up to four times a day, 20 drops. So this is a really good one for people as well. Okay. We're going to talk about, okay. Um, another, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, how to, Spot. I have one question before you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Throw it out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, because I I have um somebody uh I know somebody who's having um anxiety attacks, and so yeah. it sounded like you were saying that power shakes and um ionic ionic elements is especially good for that. But then at another time, I thought you said love shake. So which shake is best for somebody with? It depends. Uh, it depends on their situation. It's all great. So the number one thing for the anxiety is addressing what is causing the anxiety. And a lot of times there, if a lot of people are not getting that deep sleep, so start with the sleep, get them on that deep sleep. Um, and then, then they're already uh, one step ahead in the morning with serotonin increasing. Um, so if their melatonin levels are low already on the get go in the morning, then their serotonin is going to be low and then cortisol spikes in the morning and that cortisol level will tend to stay around a lot longer if the serotonins aren't kicking because the melatonin was too low in the night. So really addressing the sleep first, seeing what the cause is 
of the anxiety and seeing what else we can incorporate as a quick fix. So the chill spray is fantastic, like as a quick fix, people, because everyone's so busy. Um, but Love Shake is very grounding. So I absolutely love giving people the Love Shake, and especially with the life that we live today, it's fast. The Love Shake, like a scoop of Love Shake with the Power Shake. Um, but mineral, massive amounts of minerals, getting these minerals into their body, and the body's going to feel safe. And a lot of time why people are anxious is because they're not, they're not getting proper sufficient nutrition, and then the body feels unsafe. And it's on that fight or flight. So getting the body safe again through, of course, what we have here, which is really amazing. And yeah. we can actually live, we can live on three shakes a day, three serves of a meal, unless we're pregnant or we're needing to gain weight. But like Amy had mentioned um, just the other day, I was watching her talk. The 10 day transformation is set up. We can actually live on that. The flex foods are put in there for the brain. But of course, if we're active, we can increase but our body can literally live on that if, if that's what all we have. So that's a good thing to know as well. I just learned that the other day from Amy. Really? That's really cool. Yeah. Really? Depending on the person too, if they're pregnant, of course, or if they're trying to gain weight, then of course we're going to increase the foods. So yeah. And anything I say here today, guys, is, you know, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not here to um, treat or cure or diagnose. That's so just one thing we have to really make clear. And anything that someone's coming up with <clears throat> to you, I always tell my people to take it to their doctor always so we're you know i'm not a doctor i love, I love mixing the power shake and the love shake yeah, yeah. love shake's amazing yeah, yeah and i'm going to be talking about the mushrooms as well and what how they can support us in um detoxing and stuff like that from the body thank you so much beck yeah i'm gonna keep going here it's a lot of info all right you guys so um let's see so how to detoxify these chemicals as we know we have these power these these superfoods which are really amazing we're lucky we have these in our hands for detox detoxifying every single day um and because they're everywhere you know there's different things we can do um you can talk to your people it's very it's a very um sensitive subject about um products for people like skin care and hair care and so you can get a little deeper with people too. What is in their home? What are they putting on their body? If they're open to it, a lot of people might not want to go there, but it's actually an okay topic now that we can talk about. Can they reduce exposure to things they're putting on their body? Can they check out their shampoos and their conditioners and stuff? They, there's a great website, which you guys probably know. It's called Environmental Working Group, EWG Skin Deep. EWG.org Skin Deep. And you can literally take even your little organic shampoos and conditioners and go on there and type it in. And then it's going to list the ingredients in those products and what each ingredient causes, does, and it's going to give a rating from zero to nine, zero being safe, nine being completely deadly. So on a connect call, you can, you know, if you're hearing all this adrenal fatigue and stuff like that and hearing they have anxiety, you know, we can get a little deeper with, the exposure to chemicals as well in the house. And I often like to ask people, where do they live? <clears throat> and what region do they live? Because we are exposed to chemicals and I have lots of friends that are in the agricultural area. There's a lot of spraying going on, you know, and they actually have really high levels of exposure to the sprays of corn and wheat and other um, fruits and vegetables and stuff that are out there. So asking people where they live or where they grew up. That's one big question I like to ask people. Where did they spend a big chunk of their life? And it can uncover a lot of chemical exposure in different ways. So we have, um, I speak to some people over there in Canada and there was a lot of MS showing up over there in, um, in one of the regions. And um, I can't remember what their exposure was to. This was about a year ago. And they were all exposed to this one particular thing. I wish I could remember, but they were all these women my age who had MS and I'm like, what is going on? And they were all in this same region. So there was some kind of exposure happening over there. And so it's a really nice thing to get to understand where people live and what they're exposed to as well. So eliminating what we can chemically on our body, in our body. And of course it's in the air and even in reverse osmosis, there's filtration, there's still plastic in there. So we're getting it everywhere. So 
Um, other things that we can really do to um, start a detox out of our body and um, create protection. Um, of course, we know one of the things that Dave loves is wheatgrass. And so wheatgrass is incredible for detoxification. And we all know that. That's why we love the Power Shake. And it's got 70% chlorophyll. And it's a really high source of naturally occurring vitamins and minerals like potassium, dietary fiber, which is really phenomenal to keeping, keeping the, the colon and stuff clear, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. It's got vitamin K, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, which is really, really good for the brain. Um, we've got iron, zinc, copper, magnesium, selenium, and um, it's a really good source of protein. And as you know, the high levels of chlorophyll, when we see these dark green pigments, chlorophyll um, increases the level of oxygen in the blood, which is really, really good for detoxifying, detoxifying our body. Um, and also allows uh, harmful toxins to flow out of the body. And it also binds, as you guys know, um, metal ions and stuff like that um, in the colon and the liver. So it's really good for heavy metal detoxifying. Mm -hmm um let's see oh yeah wheatgrass is phenomenal so wheatgrass has a high amount of biologically active enzymes and amino acids so which use um which are activated by a chemical called glutathione and you'll hear diet dave talk about glutathione a lot and glutathione um is also known as gsh and it's a molecule found naturally in our body and it's produced by the liver. The glutathione is made up of three amino acids, um, L-cysteine, L-glutamine, and glycine. And glutathione is thought to offer um, antioxidant effects as well as really stimulate the immune system. And, um, you know, and it, it's reduced in the body a lot too. So increasing these levels in the body because it is is getting suppressed a lot when we're bringing in chemicals. So the wheatgrass is a really great way to um, increase the glutathione in the body. All right, and this is something that you guys are probably hearing a little bit about lately, is folic and humic acid. So um, folic acids, they support the body in different kinds of ways, like in digestion, um, cell health, brain health, um, and as you know, they're in the biomedic. So the fulvic and the humic acid is, is phenomenal and it's um, also in our fulvic zeolites. And the fulvic zeolites, you guys, are something, if you haven't brought them into your life or into your body, these are a really good thing to start um, incorporating into doing a little bit more of a detox, a little bit deeper of a detox, moving heavy metals out and different chemicals as well. Um, I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, yeah, so fulvic acid is really high in electrolytes and it's massive antioxidant um, and it helps with nutrient assimilation. So that's one thing that we've, a lot of us don't have is very good nutrient assimilation because we have these little holes in the micron in our intestinal lining. So um, it really, that's why the biomedic is really good too because the folic acid gets in there and helps with nutrient assimilation. And um, and what else here? It can be helpful in um, helping the body fight the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So that's why Dave, you know, has that in there. It's really good. Um, and they are a source of native probiotics and prebiotics that remain in the digestive system. That's the SIBO, the small intestinal bacteria overgrowth. And they help the body maintain a beneficial bacteria balance. Um, so fulvic acid helps water enter the cells at a faster rate and it, it um, helps to balance hydration and mineral levels. And so increasing, you know, biomedic every day and in, in, uh, introducing the fulvic zeolite is really good. And it helps to support a biochemical reaction um, in plants and animals and optimizes cell response. So this is really, really amazing. It's good for brain health and um, energy throughout the body. All right, another one, this is one of my favorites. So superoxide dismutase. So superoxide dismutase is, you can find this in, um, in greens. 
And it's an enzyme that alternatively cat catalyzes the dismutation of the superoxide radical into either an ordinary molecule oxygen or hydrogen peroxide. So superoxide is produced by a byproduct of oxygen metabolism and can cause many types of cell damage. Um, hydrogen peroxide is also damaging and is degrading by other enzymes um, such as catalase. But the important antioxidant defence in nearly all living cells exposed to oxygen. One acceptance is, exception is um, lactobacillus, so which is use a different mechanism to prevent damage from the reaction. Um, superoxide dismutase, though, are found in things like the love shape because we have those amazing medicinal mushrooms. And most of you guys know here a lot about probably the mushrooms. So um, there is the shiitake and the maitake mushroom in the love shake. And these really are going to be really phenomenal for increasing immunity. So with all this exposure to, to chemicals and, and as we're detoxing, I really love to incorporate the love shake for a lot of people because the mushrooms are really, really powerful they're antiviral antibacterial they're anti-carcinogenic and um, they're a high antioxidant okay so that's a little bit about the mushrooms and there's a cordyceps mushroom too so we have the cordyceps mushrooms are in the beets you guys can help me with this one they're in the love shake and these are really really good for like our, our bronchial passage our so you guys that were over there with the, the fires, like the love shake would, would have been one of the really good ones to help like detox the lungs and also help with the bronchial passage, increasing respiration and the blood flow in through the lungs as well. But mushrooms are really good for our sexual functions and they're really good for the kidneys. So they help strengthen the kidneys and they're really good for the bones, the joints, the connective tissue. And they, of course they're just majorly healing on all levels they help with the red blood cells um what else you just name it they do it they increase respiration um they're a massive antioxidant so again here we're looking for this this antioxidant with exposure to all these chemicals here this anti-inflammatory effects and the increase of blood cells and also um anti-fungal anti-tumoral anti all right, so moving on here just a little bit. Um, another one which we all talk about a lot is spirulina. And as we know, spirulina is just something we should all have in our life every single day. And it's really, really rich in chlorophyll, as you guys know. Um, and it's really good at cleansing the blood. So again, we're having this exposure to chemicals. We need this constant daily detox and then daily protection so what chlorophyll does too also gives this because we're on the phones a lot as well and we're exposed to radiation a lot and even in the car like having the phone on in the car the radiation sort of bounces around the car so for kids in increasing um chlorophyll in them so giving them that real block for the radiation as well because they're exposed to radiation so increasing a little bit more spirulina in them the crack cell chlorella tablets are really really good for kids um no more than about 12 of those little guys a day and then they can take a break too so because the, the chlorella is detoxing so the spirulina is maybe a better one and the power shake as well to increase for the children and the radiation effects and the blocking of that <clears throat> Excuse me. So spirulina is a microalgae and it contains more than 10 times the amount of chlorophyll per volume that's found in traditional garden variety vegetables. That's why it's just this incredible superfood because it's, it's inexpensive, it goes straight to the point and it really helps get right into the body. Chlorophyll in spirulina helps to rebuild the red blood cells um, and also is easily absorbable form of magnesium. And as you know that um, we use magnesium for everything. We use it to blink our eyes, we use it to move our hand, we use it to pick up a pen. So we need to increase the magnesium in our body because we're constantly using it all day long. And the combination of chlorophyll and um, magnesium as well also helps to remove toxins from the bloodstream while oxygenating the blood. So spirulina is just absolutely phenomenal guys i always like to 
even get people to increase, you know, buy, buy the, the powder and increase it in the power shake, just adding another little scoop in there as well. So we detox the body. We talk about the body a lot. And as we know, the biomedic is really incredible for detoxing our gut, where the enteric nervous system is. And as you know, we're seeing a decrease of sort of happiness in people. We're seeing an increase of depression and we're also seeing an increase of anxiety. So as we know, the fulvic acid and the humic um, acid in the biomedic is really amazing. And once we start to get in there and really clean out these chemicals and start to heal that gut lining, we can start to increase the serotonin in our, because it's coming from the gut as well, right? So we can start to increase the happiness. So I just wish the whole world could have biomedics. So, but we can, we can, um, we can ship to, I think it's 26 countries around the world. So getting the biomedic into as many people's bodies as we can, so we can increase happiness in the world and we can increase happiness you know it's it's amazing what we can do and do together as um as a community and stuff like that so i'm a big big believer in happiness and uh increasing that and um getting into our gut and healing our gut lining um diverting here a little bit back into happiness so back into detoxing we talk about um the gut and the body and stuff we kind of often miss the brain and as we know with the gut you know things detox and the, the, if they're going through the lining in the intestinal wall it, it can go up into the blood and it can cause like a systematic systemic infection and it can go up through the spine and into the brain so that's why we're seeing a lot of foggy brains seeing a lot of um chemicals exposure and stuff with food now especially with children children's little bodies are so sensitive and they're sitting on the grass at school, <laughs> you know, even how good we are at home with the food, they go to school and they trade lunches and stuff like this. So they're constantly with children, they're building up accumulation of toxins and they don't detox as well as us because they're not as diligent. We have to kind of ask them, can you have your power shake? Some kids don't even want to touch greens. So kids tend to hold on to these toxins a little longer than us. So somehow how we can try to incorporate biomedic um one of them a day is fine and um the crack cell chlorella for the kids somehow getting the ionic elements they kind of don't taste that well i put them in my power shake but somehow like getting them into like a smoothie or something for kids as well the ionic elements are really good to increase the minerals because as you know the chemicals are like depleting the many minerals out of the body um, but coming back to the brain, ways that the brain, things that detox the brain are things like, um, and support the brain, um, are alpha lipoic acid and acetyl carnitine. I can never say that one. Um, and they're two nutrients. They act like a team and they help improving and protecting brain function, especially where there's like heavy metal toxicity and where we can find these, you guys, is in Revivitol. And Revivitol is, if you guys haven't taken Revivitol yet, I mean, it's out of stock right now, but Revivitol is something that I encourage people to take every day because it actually does detox the brain and it increases like the neurotransmission in the brain. So just who takes Revivitol here? Just put a little one or hands up or right that's awesome you guys so if you haven't put that into your shopping cart lately there's definitely try that and my husband's actually fallen in love with that and he's he's noticed an increase in his mood changes and stuff because it's really supporting the brain and revivalol is really really good um not to be negative or anything but for our um, older generation because the accumulations of toxins are in there and they stay there a lot longer and it can really help with the firing of the neurotransmission in the brain so when we can detox the brain we can increase the firing of the signals through the brain so when we're talking to people on the phone you know in incorporating revive it all for people is really really wonderful and if not in the first order then in that second order getting them to try it if they're feeling you know, not too, uh, not too, uh, too clear in their brain. It's a good one to detox as well. So, um, 
Acyl tea carnitine, I can never say that one, you guys. It can boost brain function. It replenishes the brain cells and helps, can also help with melting away unwanted body fat. And um, it's an amino acid that we can find in high levels in um, the skeletal system and the cardiac muscles as well. And it's a really unique substance. It has the ability to cross the blood brain barrier. And it also promotes the transportation of fatty acids, like what we were talking about before. Um, and they can help um, where they can where they can burn as fuel. So increasing those fatty acids is really, really incredible. And as most of us know, increasing our alkalinity. So a lot of times we're running on more of that acidity side. So one of the best ways to detoxify all these chemicals in our body. Again, if we're sitting on that, the pH teeter totter, we really want to run more on that, the alkalinity side, right? Not too much. We kind of want to have that, the balance so we can incorporate things like bananas, um, different things like that that can, can balance out the pH. So the perfect blood pH is anywhere between a 7.35 and a 7.45. And any pH level below... 7.0 is acidic and that will reduce the energy production in cells and limit the body's ability to detoxify and to detoxify heavy metals and chemicals. Um, from there, when we're too acidic, the body's sort of unable to absorb these vitamins and minerals. That's why these al alkalining um, greens and superfoods are really, really amazing. It can help, you know, once we're, we're more on that balance, it can help remove fatigue um, and things like that. So obviously knowing junk, junk food, uh, drinking, coffee, candies, cakes, sugar, salt, um, things like fried food and stuff like that is, is more on that acidic level. So choosing more um, alkaline foods as well. All right. Um, I'm going to switch out here a little bit, you guys, and have a little drink of water. So that's just some ways that we can detox um, our body and sort of add some different things in for people beyond the core three. Um, the ionic elements are just incredible. They're, they come in the transformation pack in Europe. Like that, they're, they're just, it's just what you get in Europe. You get the crack cell chlorella tablets and you get the ionic elements are just part of the transformation pack. So we really love to incorporate those ionic elements um, when people are getting a core three even um, in my team. We love to incorporate them and they really help with people with peristalsic, peristalsic um, movement if you're hearing people are a little more constipated on the constipated side. So getting remineralized there and um, adding them in. And they're inexpensive. They don't taste the best, <laughs> but they're um, really inexpensive. And again, they have the fulvic acid in them, so they're really good. If you guys, who's, who, who uses these? Do you guys use these? Anyone uses the, the ionic elements? Yeah. Awesome. And sorry, I haven't really been looking at the chat here. Yay, Gracie loves the Revive It All. Oh, shoots. Cool, okay. Sorry guys, just looking at the little chat here for a little bit. Oh, okay, yeah, shipping to Australia. Good, yeah, we can ship, so. Just really quickly on when we want to share this internationally, guys, we can share this internationally. If you're not sure which countries, which countries we ship to, um, check with customer service. Usually the first international order um, has to be called in. For Europe, obviously go through the Europe, European platform. They have a few different products over there, um, but they do have pretty much what we have. They don't have the biomedic, unfortunately, um, and they don't have the beets yet. And they don't have the sprays yet, but getting these products into as many people globally, because what we're seeing is um, even when in, if you look at um, a European um, urine and blood test, they're still finding levels of glyphosate, even though glyphosate is the, the parts per million that are allowed in the, in the water over there are really, really low compared to ours, but they're still finding glyphosate in the bodies of people in countries where glyphosate is not needed and other chemicals are around as well. They're also showing that in really remote lakes, um, pristine lakes in different parts of the world where it has no exposure to industry and all that, they're finding um, 
they're finding traces of plastic as well, which is like all broken down. So obviously it's coming up, you know, in, into the oxygen and then into the air and then coming back down in other forms. But we're, the whole world's exposed to chemicals and everyone has invisibles living inside them. So getting this to as many hands and into as many bodies as you can around the world, it's going to be really good for Dave and Amy too. <laughs> um, and shipping and stuff like that's a little different depending on the countries and also the taxes. So watching out for there. Okay. So I'm going to talk now about hormones and what is what is happening when you know we're hearing people oh my god I'm so tired and I think it's my hormones and and of course it is because we're so exposed to these chemicals as you just heard they're the complete uh, disruptors of the endocrine system where this is where all our hormones are excreted and I'm going to talk a little bit about just a couple of hormones here um, and then I think I have my team member on here just really quickly we're coming to the top of our guys sorry it's a lot of information today Eva's on here I'm gonna see if Jonah is on here okay just really quickly we're going to talk about hormones so understanding our hormones are a little bit better <laughs> so as you know serotonin is our happy hormone and it because it has that unique quality um, in regulating moods and it plays a critical and perhaps lesser known role in everything from the formation of blood clots to enhancing our bone density in addition to having an effect on our appetite, our sexual desire um, and function, our mood, our memory, our learning, our appetite. And that's why we're seeing, when we're seeing an increase of anxiety, we um, are seeing increase of cortisol and that's what's decreasing the levels of serotonin and now we're seeing like decreases sperm count and learning abilities and things like that because the system is compromised so cortisol cortisol decreases dopamine um, a hormone which keeps us alert and and it decreases serotonin a hormone which you know is our happy hormone it keeps us relaxed so it becomes harder and harder to stay in balance and keep stress in check so cortisol messes with the mood balance um, and at the same time increases carbohydrate cravings and fat cravings which can lead us to eat more um, more sugars um, you know in the colder colder countries um, it can increase us to eat more fatty foods so that's why we're seeing also a rise of um, of more and more people that are overweight because we're seeing higher levels of anxiety so the cortisol levels are up and the happy hormones are down. And I'm just going to do one more. And I know we're coming to the top of the hour. I have so much here, but I'm going to do another little piece here for you guys. Um, and we all know about this one and it is melatonin. So <clears throat> our body has its own internal clock and that controls um, our natural cycle of sleep and waking hours. And our body clock controls how much melatonin our body makes. So normally melatonin levels begin to rise in the mid <clears throat> to the late evening. And move, move you guys over here, sorry. And, and, and the light affects how much melatonin our body produces also. So when we're seeing winter, you know, the shorter days, um, our body will produce uh, melatonin either later in the day um, and this can change this change can lead to season, symptoms of seasonal effect as well so that's why we see an increase of um, depression in when it's coming into winter because we're seeing um, we're seeing levels of melatonin um, and melatonin is produced by various tissues in the body Although the major source is the penile gland, again, you guys, so what we're seeing is when we're seeing the effects of the chemicals that are entered into our body and the effects it's having on the penile gland, we're seeing those lower levels of melatonin. So really getting um, a lot more apothecary into people and also to the relaxed caps. Relaxed caps are really, um, really good to increase melatonin because they do have the tart cherry in them as well. So we're, I can't believe we're at the top of the hour and we're only halfway through it. Um, 
So just getting a broader sense of, you know, the world we live in today, the sensitivity of our body. Our bodies are resilient. They're strong, but they're also sensitive. And our earth also too is. So, of course, this plant, plant-based diet is really phenomenal for us. Increasing minerals, the amount of minerals we're bringing in, even if we're thinking we're bringing a certain amount and increasing them. Of course, increasing water, but um, enhancing your water, like enhancing your water with um, ionic elements, things like um, apple cider vinegar, um, lemon. So enhancing the things that we're bringing into our body and, and encouraging other people to do this as well. And then taking a good look at what's around us taking a really good look at what's in our, our bathroom, um, the things we can eliminate a little more, um, plastics in our kitchen, unfortunately, shifting to drinking out of glass if we can. I try and drink my power shaker and stuff out of glass. Um, and then just being on that protection mode, being on the protection mode and supporting other people, hearing when people are coming up in conversation what you hear. So you're hearing what because we're accumulated with toxins, we're accumulated with plastics and stuff inside of our body. So the more and more people we can get this into our body, the, the, the better our bodies are going to be in fighting, fighting these chemicals that are around us that aren't going to stop soon because plastic's not going to stop soon, I know. And, uh, and I'm not sure when all the spraying of the chemicals are going to stop soon. So um, any quick questions here? I just can't believe that time flew by. And... Anyone wants to jump on? Hopefully that all made sense to you guys and how chemicals are working in our body and disrupting our system. Yes, that, fingers up, did that make, thumbs up, did that make sense to you guys? And different things that we can incorporate into our day and into our um, friends and family's life for detoxing. Does that make sense, you guys? Any questions at all? I know it's a lot of information. <laughs> And just trying new stuff. So trying new stuff for um, detoxing the brain. Cool. It'll be on Bliss Ohana, yeah. And um, I'm just wondering if John R, if you're on here really quickly, if you want to push star six and unmute. I don't know if she jumped on today. She is a whiz bang at um, our anatomy physiology world and she has some really great information on um supporting people through um the nervous system and things like that so i don't know if she's on here today but anyhow but any questions on that you guys any questions on different stuff i talked about um maybe on a certain product maybe i can answer it hopefully i can answer it you guys are good i do have a question oh. Oh, yeah sorry um annette here um hey, annette. My dad has, oh, he'd shoot me if he knew I was saying this out loud. My oh. dad has one of the very large impacted bellies. Um, he needs a detox. It's gone to the point where he's got fatty liver. Yeah. He's not a drinker at all. So this is like, he doesn't touch booze at all. So that's not the issue. It's the, how do, what can you suggest for the very large distended tummies that have the impacted? Like I know the herbal fiber cleanse, but is there anything more beyond that? Yeah, so the thing is too, when it's that, because it's that accumulative, so it's, it's, he's accumulated it over years and years and years. And what we're seeing with glyphosate, it creates fat, it creates like the fatty liver. It's like a, um, it's almost like an alcoholic liver. And that's what we're seeing in, so for him eliminating, it's really hard with, sorry guys, with family. <laughs> My dad was like one of the hardest. He had quadruple heart bypass, all that kind of stuff. It was really hard to get him on the products. So his heart is going to be under a lot of pressure too. And everything is working under pressure. I'm sure he does not feel well. So things that he might like to try, you go to just see if he'll try it. He'll be really um, probably on the acidic side. So the power shake is going to taste probably funky to him. And he probably, he most likely will, will feel um, a little even more bloated from the power shake. But the core three is just right there just the tart, the tart cherry start him on the tart cherry and just get that his body just starting to relax a little bit more because the body's it's going to be pretty stressed out the, his body's probably pretty stressed out and um find out oh sorry yeah he I, wrote, um from the core three but he's still doing it i finally got him convinced yeah. on the cherry juice and he's starting that as well i ordered him the the herbal fiber and then i ordered him the caramel apple 
Okay. And, yeah, that's uh, all good. Yep. He, he is, and he's going to do the 10 day cleanse, but yep. I'm wondering if it's too early for him to do that 10 day considering. No, because it's just maximum nutrients. So for him, number one thing you got to find out for him too, um, is he, is he, if he's having bowel movements, um, if he's getting constant, okay. If he's moving, then, then go for it and just really got to watch the water um, to keep, because as he's detoxing, you don't want it all to detox back into the body. So just really keep his water up super high. And um, yeah, the 10 day transformation will be great for him. Um, and consistency, like we have Jimmy that's over here in Kauai and he's lost, he lost 60 pounds just doing the core three over, I think it was seven months or something, but he was just consistent, but it's eliminating. We really got to be honest and eliminate that stuff. But you guys, a lot of people don't have access to good food. It's just, even in my state in Australia, the, the organic foods are just not around because the bugs are so big. The bugs just eat and there's no nutrients in the ground there. They just don't have access to it. So it's really hard to tell someone in, a, in an area that doesn't have access to good food to go and buy organic food. That's why Purium's so amazing. He's like, here, just ship it to you and just drink that. My parents just drink that now and because the food they have there is not very good, you know. So he's going to love it and he's going to lose weight and he's the biomedic. He's just got to be all over that biomedic too. So That was the first thing I got him on was the biomedic yeah. and the core yeah. three. And um, he was taking one in the morning, one at night, and then we couldn't figure out why he was bloating so much. So I told him to drop down to one in the morning. And so maybe I'll tell him to get back up to that two and then maybe start working up to four a day like it's suggested because i i'm taking it as well and i'm noticing huge differences like i can eat bread again whereas before like my gluten my celex was so advanced I yeah i can eat bread anymore so it is it's repairing i'm watching it yeah. for me you know exactly. but it's like when you're it's someone else i don't mind if i'm the guinea pig you yeah. know but when it's i'm watching my dad i'm like ah, you know we're so emotional awesome. yeah. but thank you for that information i appreciate that yeah I, I like yeah to this video to grasp it all but i'm gonna listen like five more times yeah and then, another one yeah exactly and then and that's it you guys and we can seriously heal our gut holy moly like the thing is we can put all these nutrients and stuff in too but if we're not healing the gut we're just we're not assimilating the nutrients properly anyway but also too knowing that um things like the rice bran soluble so increasing amino acids rice bran solubles so bioflavonoids are like a precursor for collagen so they're like so when when we're when we have like a leaky gut like we're really likely to increase like our vitamin c but naturally occurring and so what we're looking for in the naturally occurring vitamin c is the bioflavonoids and they're like a precursor to collagen and that's what we're looking for also to to heal the lining of the gut so amino acids with rice bran solubles which are in the power shake and biomedic combined, the stomach is just gonna be like, this is awesome. But we also gotta eliminate the other stuff as much as we can and be really truthful about what we're putting in on our body. So yeah. Mario, did you have a quick question? Yeah, the chart that you had uh, put up at the beginning, could I uh, get a copy or? Yeah, yeah. I'll put Please. it into the list. Thank yeah. you. And I'll put it on this video as well, so. Thank you. Any other questions, guys? Maybe I can answer. I'll see if I can answer something if anyone's got any. Again, I'm not a doctor, but I can see if I can answer some questions with a family member or something you've heard come up with a friend that you'd like to see what we can incorporate them. I have a quick question. Hello. Um, oh, hi. Um, so with uh, the, um, what was my question? Okay, so like the fulvic and the humic um, acid. Um, yeah. One thing that I've kind of like read back and forth between is like yeah. with people, my son has like an autoimmune autoinflammatory disorder. And yeah. so I've kind of gone back and forth with like, if it's going to increase inflammation initially. So what is your thoughts on that? Right. And that's the thing, anything that's um, any, oh, sorry, I lost you guys here. Where are we? Anything that is, um, can have especially for children as well anything that can have like this um detox that's detoxing as well detoxing effects it can sit back in the system and that can create 
like inflammation in the system. So anything that's going to like move it out faster. So for kids, um, of course, water, increasing his water somehow. Um, yeah. And that's the main thing, keeping the, the level, the dosages a little lower because mm -hmm. it can sit in the body a little more with kids because they tend to not drink enough liquids. It's really hard to get the kids to drink a lot of liquids. And that's where the inflammation can come back in through like, uh, we're re, um, toxifying the body and that's like another thing too when we really want to get people detoxing and, and bowel movements people get all stuck in the 10-day transformation and it can become systemic again and can sit in the body and it can create inflammation that's why people go oh my god I'm all bloated and I'm on day six and my body's all puffy and I feel all foggy and stuff is because it's not moving somehow it's not moving out of the body and that can be like the autoimmune stuff as well that sort of blocking it but keep going keep just yeah whatever you're giving him and in, in, in however form you're giving it him just keep going in little in little doses so okay yeah because yeah. i was giving him like the drops initially yeah i think maybe that was too much so but he's been using the biomedic and that seems like yeah it's so the biomedic's great and again yeah. too um because the biomedic is detoxing and we just have to somehow like um have get more water and stuff in it and move it move it out for especially for kids and things like and us as well so yeah, yeah thank you you're welcome i really appreciate it glad you're enhancing your water too yeah it's really good <laughs> anyone else really quickly oh, it's 1009 but yeah hi molly you're muted babe okay. you got it yeah my mom actually my mom and three of my brothers are all on coumadin and so yeah the uh, blood thinners and they, they, can't, yeah. they can't really take the power shake unless they decided that they were going to do it consistently and change their dosages. But I'm just yeah. wondering about, can they take biomedic? Can they take apothecary? Yep. And, uh, so, I mean, so this, yeah, exactly. So Coumadin, exactly. So Coumadin, people on Coumadin, they can't have high levels of vitamin K and that is in the power shake. And um, as you heard from Molly, so there is there is the other one that they can take now um, if they want to switch out to the other medication. Um, I always forget what that one's called. There's two, there's Coumadin and the other one. And that they can take um, vitamin K and because they can do the vitamin K on that. So they might want to look into switching out medications possibly. Is that because, Orphan? Orphan? Um, yeah, I've had a lot of clients to switch and then they now they can take the power shake because getting the power shake into them, but, um, biomedic because it, it, it drops down that it's like, uh, this, uh, C-reactive proteins are, are reduced. So biomedics can be really good for them. Yeah. Pothecary, amino acids, the love shake, but it still has vitamin K in it. So I still, my, one of my clients who are vitamin K levels were still spiking, um, with the love shake so I know and that's the stuff we need to get into them too it's frustrating because that's what we really want to get into them see if they can switch see if they can ask the doctor if they can switch out to the other medication and then they can yeah in time they could probably switch out to the power shake as well cool the, the other thing is if they actually took that consistently the same amount every day could they just change their dosage of medication I mean, um, you'd have to check that with the doctor because everyone's so different. Yeah, you'd have to check that with the doctor. And most people on them, they tend to stay on them for quite a long time and then out of fear as well. So that would be just them and they would have to check their levels as they move in and out of the products and stuff. So they, I get my clients to take the products to their doctors and usually the doctors will see straight away. And a lot of the time because it's um, plant-based um, vitamins and minerals, it's different than synthesized. So synthesized um, vitamins and minerals can affect differently with, um, with medication. So if it's plant-based form, it can be different because the way it's absorbed. So you can always take it to the doctor and they can go, yes, no, you know, and naturopathic doctors too, if they have their, um, if they have their license for things like that, they can, they can look at the medications and stuff as well. So yeah. Cool. Anyone else really quickly? And I can get this. We can do a, a second round on different stuff and how it's affecting the body as well. So, oh, the other blood thinner is Plavix. Cool. And I think, Angela, that might be the one you could do vitamin K with. So, 
Yeah, perfect. There we go. I have, I have yes. another question. Hi, Willow. Hi. I'm Hi, in Anna. Colorado out here, <laughs> by the way. Oh, awesome. Um, I am wondering about, I was hearing all that you were saying about autoimmune and inflammation, but what I'm wondering is specifically for someone with rheumatoid arthritis, what would you add in to their intake of all of the products aside from the core three, you know, 10 day, all that basics? Yeah. Whew. Rheumatoid arthritis is definitely a diff it's a little bit of a different one. And, um, and again, you know, it can, it's just, we're seeing tens and tens and tens of years of exposure to chemicals and now, now more it's showing up as this can be the link to rheumatoid arthritis and stuff. Um, just keep going. They just got to be strong on the products. They got to be um, clear with what they're taking. Um, elimination diets of eliminating stuff is incredible. Again, maybe check in with them what they're putting on their skin, you know, things like that. What it's actually me, so I, I oh, know. It's you. Oh, cool. There yeah. you go. Right. Yeah, I, it's it's been twenty six years that this right. has been going on, and I have been. I've learned a lot, done a lot, done it all, you know. And so I'm, I eat really clean, put yep. stuff clean, all of it. So it's basically like, are you, okay, I've done it all. Now what? You know. Are you in pain? Are you in pain with the rheumatoid arthritis? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, what's your current schedule? What are you using and what have you done so far? How long have um, you been on products? With the Purium, I started in July and I started two weeks, core three, did, 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 the, did the 10 day and now I'm doing twice a day. Okay. Um, and I haven't incorporated anything else besides those three basic products and then just started the Biomedic about a week ago. Okay, cool. You're on the right track and just keep going because it literally, it takes... Somehow, some way we get these things. Like I had osteoarthritis. I was diagnosed with that in my early teens. And I just, I know it just comes in through all forms and whatever my mom probably smoked when I was in her world or whatever. Yeah. It all comes yeah. Fulvic, fulvic, the fulvic, ze the zeolite, add that in. Just um, ionic elements um, and just keep going. It's, you know, it took you years to, uh, to have this stuff. So it can take some time to undo it. Um, the gut health, like you said, just getting all the endocrine system just really thriving again and like eliminating eliminating stuff like dairy and things like that out of the diet. So right. inflammatory foods and also to like um, deadly nightshades and stuff like that, like trying to get them out of the diet, keep the inflammatory joint, inflammatory foods out. Yeah which is hard for sometimes, but yeah. No, it's, I've been doing all that. I get it. I'm willing. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You're on the right path. Yeah. Just stick to the path and just, okay. I have had a friend over here with rheumatoid arthritis and surf with her and her pain did decrease, but you know what she was doing Willow too. She was having, um, she was having cherry twice a day. So you can increase the cherry as well. So it's not going to put you asleep in the morning. You can add it into the power shake, add it into um, into your nighttime routine as well. Okay. Yeah, you just got to keep going with it. Look at my drone here. She's just her results are just phenomenal. You know, she's it's just she's sticking to the path and um, yeah. All right. Thank we're you. All, we're all sponges soaking up this stuff in the world, and we need to soak up good stuff. So yeah. Hey Rebecca, I'll hey, add something to the arthritis. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Yes. Dear. Hi. I'm, listening. I'm just painting, so I'm listening while I'm painting. Um, Hi. You know, with arthritis, the other thing that has really, really, really helped, of course, staying away from all nightshades or having a completely alkaline diet, like 100%, you've got to be committed to it. But the other part that's really helped is um, I broke out all my macrobiotic books because I did a serious macrobiotic lifestyle for seven years. And if you eat as close to a macrobiotic lifestyle combined with Purium, the results are a reduction in 75% in my arthritic pain. And then being able to walk 50 feet when I started last May, now I can walk three miles. So it's, if you stick to it, it really shifts. Okay. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Well, we're still rolling. If anyone has questions, I have, I'm, I'm here if anyone wants to throw anything out while we're still going and we can keep this as a resource and people can come back to it. Um, any other questions, you guys? Otherwise, we can jump up and go about our day. Good.
good. Thanks, you little Aussie. You're welcome. Good to see you, Aussie. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. Thanks for jumping on. We'll do another part two soon. So, yay. Mwah. Who's wow. going to be in LA this weekend? Oh, yeah. Who's going I to the am. opening? I am. Awesome. Go for me. Go for me. <laughs> All right, you guys. Sec, I just want to say thank you. That was a fantastic call. Amazing, amazing depth of information. And I'm going to watch it over and over again and pick all yeah. that. Yeah. You can, I know. It's, it's, it's unlimited, so we can do another one. So, all right, honeys. Have a good grand opening. Thank you, guys thank you everybody. Yeah. Keep it all up. Okay, bye, you guys. Bye. bye.